What's going on, everybody? Hi! I'll let you do the honors of this intro. <laughs> Welcome to my <laughs> Hi, guys. What's going on, everybody? Good evening. Yeah, we're going to try to be serious <laughs> during this episode, okay? <laughs> no, shh. We are going to be serious, okay? Totally, that's impossible. No, it's possible. Let's, let's show that we have a serious side to us. Right. So, <laughs> all right, cool. Questions and answers from you guys. You guys have a lot of questions, boy. They were just jump packing my Snapchats. Oh god! So I had to just keep on screenshotting them. All right, cool. First question from Badman Dan Thirty Four. First of all, you don't, man, need, you don't need to announce who he is. He needs to change your name. That's what you need to do first of all. Don't listen to Tully. If that's what you want to be, then it's fine. What's a bad man at the age of 34? <laughs> think about your life. You can't expose his name like that. It's cool, it's cool. Don't worry, he doesn't mind. They don't know who do we know who that is. Um What is the song that you both vibe to? Um, I would say genre maybe Afrobeats. Yeah, Afrobeats. But what song? What song is popping at the moment that we listen to? Um, coolest, coolest kid. That song, coolest. That's not a song that we both vibe by to. By the Vido. This is what we both vibe to. Oh yeah, fall. <laughs> uh, 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 hey, oh my God. Yeah, hey. Yeah, should be really. Money fall on me. Come on. Banana fall. Banana will fall on you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're, we're, we're vibing to fall. <laughs> but that's what I said. The genre Afrobeat. You said coolest kid. That's not the the the, uh, the song that we vibe to. Okay. Anyways, so next. Banana. Um, another question. Is Yemi an Arsenal fan like you, or is there a conflict? And how soon do you guys plan on having children? <laughs> okay, cool. So basically, in regards to being an Arsenal fan, yes, I am an Arsenal fan because my dad, my brother, and my husband are all Arsenal fans. So. Oi, oi, and we just signed Lacazette. Go on, Laka. Do you even know who that I is? I don't know who Laka is, but yeah, go on, Laka. <laughs> Lacazette. <laughs> I was going to say, do you have a Laka Moba? <laughs> Okay, next question. <laughs> oh, and it's the children. Yeah. Um, children, yeah, in God's time. If you could switch your wife or husband for one day with someone, which celebrity would you choose just for fun? You answer the question first. I'm still thinking about it. Okay. Why are you still thinking about it? But just. Just answer the question. I would choose Karuchi! 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 Hell no. No, not hell no. I'm. She's a nice person. I don't know if she's a nice person. I'm nervous now. Oh. Um, Why would you choose Karuchi? It's a joke, man. People that follow me on, the, on my thing know it's a joke. Oh, okay, yeah, Instagram, yeah, cool. Um, who would I choose? Um, Gabby. I, I knew you were going to say Gabby. Gabby Union! I know you were going to say her. Gabby. I love yeah, Gabby. Probably Gabby. Okay, guess who I would choose? Just take a guess. <laughs> Just choose carefully. I would choose a David Beckham. I love David Beckham. I love him to bits, you don't understand. I'm yeah, choosing like... somebody with tattoo on them. So? How would your lord feel about that? <laughs> I would choose David Beckham because he's so, he's so cute and he's family orientated and I would get gassed about stuff like that. I've always loved David Beckham. Sorry, babes. How did we make our relationship last? Oh. That's a question from Georgina. Hi Georgina! Um, how did we make our relationship last? Yeah. Uh, well, we're both Christians, so we, we both pray, pray we a lot. Pray. We pray a lot. God when, is... we, when we didn't live together, we used to pray every night on the phone. Yeah. Most nights on the phone. Why are, yeah. we, why are we serious? <laughs> because we have to be serious once in a while. But, um, but yeah, so we just pray a lot. We, came, we just talk. Communication, definitely. Yeah. We talk, we bust jokes, literally me and Tolu are just best friends. Alright, next question, you can read this one out. I don't know. How does Yemi deal with you going away for two months? And why doesn't she hop along and y'all enjoy it together? Well, first of all, when Tolu goes away, it's for like business. I mean, if pleasure was involved, then I'd be going along with Tolu. But no, it's just business and I work as well, so I can't take time off, off, time off work because Tolu wants to travel and that kind of stuff. And how do I feel? Obviously, I miss him because he's not physically here, but we talk all the time. Thank God for technology, FaceTime, WhatsApp, etc. 
we always be talking <laughs> but um yeah i do miss him a lot but yeah i'm fine don't even come close okay what this is from oh this is funny bolade man like bolade man like bolade said what was it like meeting yemi's dad that's a very funny question <laughs> how what was it like meeting yemi's dad um scary man every guy knows me and any females father is just a long thing i can't remember the first time i saw him was it at your house no long thing yeah yeah, yeah. Was that? it was shop. in the house in the dining room he came in and you oh yeah and he was looking at you and you were just yeah i was just he yeah. was sitting down in it so i was just thinking ah, who is this who is this uncle and i came in i was like hello sir he was like hello what was your name I said tulu I said oh tulu okay and he was just looking at me that's not what happened tulu and, and then he stood up and he was like five foot Five foot. Sorry? Five. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a it's a joke. What? Because you're really tall, you. Yeah, you think you can tell anything about my dad? Why, why are you bare back in your dad? Uncle, if you watch this video, I love you, it's all my heart. It's, it's, it's jokes, it's bad. It's bad. What happened? Do you remember? Totally. <laughs> Totally fainted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Bye -bye, no, yeah no, I'm joking, man. No, my dad wasn't that bad actually. Some men are like really, really. No, nah, he was cool, man. He was cool. He was, yeah, he was cool. What is the funniest memory you guys have? By the way, love you guys. Oh, love, you. love you too. Thank you, Victoria. Oh, so many memories. What's the funniest memory? Oh, I can't. There's so many, man. I'm trying to think. Mm. Memory. Oh, okay. So one of the funniest memories of Tolu that I have here that would forever live in my oh, head. Oh, gosh, I already know. I what? Know. Go on, go on. What is it? Go on, go what? on. What? Go on. Okay. Say it. <laughs> okay, go on. Um, so back in the day in calling, yeah. Tolu used to wear pink earrings. He would match from head to toe. Pink Camera. Air pink earrings with like a pink hoodie. hoodie. He used to wear babes, see-through babes. Pink. Yeah. And I used to be like, what is this guy on? Come on, you know I gotta do what I got to do. Nah, did it bang. My funniest memory was when it was your birthday <laughs> and I came <laughs> in a pink tie and a blazer and I took my dad's Mercedes and we went to um Watch Lion King. King. That was funny because and I looked a mess. And when you turned And we lost I lost the tickets, remember? Oh yeah. But we still bumped it. You bumped it. Yeah, but you followed it, did you know? Yes, I did. And you enjoyed the show. Yeah, it was good. Tolu, Tolu did not... When he arrived at my house, <laughs> I, was, <laughs> I was laughing. I was like, what are you wearing? <laughs> These times I put in bare effort for my drop, you know. Pink tie. Your combo was atrocious. How do you guys keep the fun and spark in your relationship without getting bored of each other or fighting? Frankie from Kenya. Hey! Frankie from Kenya! Frankie, Frankie. Hello, Frankie. Um, fun. I think because we're just both like really hyper people and like really, yeah. what's the word? We're both bubbly. Yeah, we're both bubbly, really like excited that like, you can never, like literally if I'm quiet, that means there's something wrong. wrong. Likewise. Likewise. We just always have to talk or like be bubbly, like. Mm. Well, how do we guys keep the, f I guess we also like, even like when she's at work and I'm working, we just always message each other funny memes yeah. and whatnot. Message each other on Instagram. Whatever. We whatever. we and Tolu actually talk through all social medias. We talk on WhatsApp. And it's I was so honest because she'll be at work and they'll be like, I love you. And then she'll be like, I love you too. And then she'll come and be like, you know you're the best. And I'll be like, I know. <clears throat> but yeah, we just have fun. Literally, we just always have fun. There's never a dull moment unless it totally pisses me off. Grace said, what is the best thing about being married to Yemi? Oh, they can't just be only one thing. The best thing about being married to Yemi, you guys already know. Food. How food skills are on point. Is that all you know? Well, your food skills are on point though. Definitely. Definitely. Oof. She can, she can put a meal together. Thanks, Definitely. Really appreciate that. And you can also... No, I'm sorry. Oh, well. Anyways, my question is how old is Yemi and how old are you? I am. You do not ask a woman her age. How dare you? I'm 21. 
No, I'm 27, guys. I'm gonna be 28 in November. Stop tapping. It's gonna November the 15th. I'm gonna be 28 years of age. And I am 28 years old. Turn 28 in March. But yeah. Two years to 30. You fair? Oh my god. I like that name. What is married life like? Has pa. <laughs> what do you guys do on a daily basis and weekends? Uh, what's a daily? What's a daily? Well, daily everyone routine? knows. You, if you follow us on Snapchat, you know we're either at a wedding, <laughs> <laughs> church, or, now, or, or church, or at home, or at home, or party, or we're at a restaurant eating. Yeah. So we're very chilled, man. Relaxed. Do you know what I'm saying? Whatever we feel like doing, we will do. If we're yeah. like, let's go watch a film. We'll go watch a film. Obviously, we spend a lot of time on Netflix. Yeah. I actually like staying at home. <laughs> <laughs> I just like being at home. Like, there's Stop no need banging the table. I'm oh, sorry. Uh. There's no need for us to go out and spend money because stay at home and enjoy our four corners of the world. Even if it means to lose your plank on the wall. <laughs> I just like staying at home. I remember on Saturday, <laughs> on Saturday, Tolu wanted to go out so badly. And I was just like. She keeps on banging you. That's actually annoying. Stop Sorry. Being so, oh. I was like, totally wanted to go out so badly on Saturday, and I was just like, why do you need to go out? Let's just stay at home. And he was like, oh, I just want to go out. He said, <laughs> he said, I said, okay, let's go cinema in the evening. He was like, oh no, let's go now because if we go in the evening, when we come back home, we have to go to bed. <laughs> I said, are you eight years old? Come on. And Mia, what do you love about each other the most? Uh, um. What do you love about me? There's so many things I love about Tully. Um, one of top five or maybe top ten is the fact that he always makes me laugh. Like laughter is very key in my life. I, I love laughing honestly. <laughs> I laugh at everything but yeah laughter. He makes me laugh all the time and Tully has a really, what's the word, positive aura about him. He's just like if you're down and Tully just walks into the room he just brightens it up. Baby, you're, you're gonna get it tonight. Uh, you're, you're on point. Well, okay. Sorry. So good. Um, what I love about Yemi the most? Her smile. Her smile alone. Just you always say up. that. Because it's, it's, a, it's the truth. When I first met her, it was her smile. I saw her smile and I was like, wow. That's actually that's that's actually true because it's true because you say it all the time, man. Yeah. I remember when, when you tried and to. It's my turn. <laughs> um, <laughs> I remember That's when uh, hello. you tried to toast me. <laughs> yeah, when I, when I tried to toast her, the first thing I saw was a smile. But her smile, man, her smile is beautiful. Um, likewise, she's hilarious. She's so funny. Sometimes I just think about what she says and it's just... I remember one time I was talking and she was like, Hmm, is there a wound in your mouth? <laughs> is there a wound? And I was busting up for time. So, yeah. Um, how do you deal with long distances? As in, if you're somewhere else? Yeah. Oh, I'm fine. Just get on with life. <laughs> to be honest, she's better than I am. Yeah, Tolu's more like the one that, oh, I miss you. I miss Tolu, but like, life must continue. <laughs> it's definitely true. But yeah. And, and where your first kiss was. Have you had. Well, no. Let's, let's do the first one first. <laughs> this, this person, you are, quite, you are quite raunchy. You're quite raunchy. Where and when and where was your first kiss, and have you had public sex? Okay, let's do it for the first question. Um. So. Our first kiss was at our friend's house, Ebenezer's house. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, what happened that day again? Drew for your lips thing. What? Man drew for your lips. So excited. Just drew for it. She couldn't resist. As soon as I just learned tension to she, oh my gosh, I'm Tolo. just thinking, yeah. Oh, Tolo. <laughs> sure. Stinking, ugh. Yeah, my mate's house, that was the first kiss. Yeah. Have you had public sex? No. No. <laughs> what are we demonstrating for? <laughs> No. Nah, sorry. mate. Sorry, love. No. Please talk us through dealing with issues in a relationship. What rocky paths have you guys had? Did you stay together for the entire nine, ten years without any breakup? Okay, cool. Um, so I'm gonna answer the question of did you guys stay together? Yeah, we've never broken up before. We've just been together before. Out. There's never been a breakup. No, yeah, no, no. I can recall. Mm. Not a breakup, but maybe a breakdown in communication. <laughs> it's, <laughs> so it's been a period where it's been rocky. Obviously. Yeah, obviously, but we've never like oh, rocky. breakup as in we have been like 
we've broken up, but then we've never really broken up. What? No, we haven't. Yes, yes, yes Bro we have. As in, do you know broken up is? As in, we don't talk ever for like a month or two weeks. There's been, there's been a period where we didn't talk for like a week. I don't two. remember that period. But we knew that we were still together. Okay, um, please talk us through dealing with issues in a relationship. Communication. Communication and prayer. Sounds cliche, but for me it's the truth. Because you need to communicate. If you don't communicate, and and also pride dropping pride is important yeah men have a lot of pride we honestly do. you we gotta do. call it <laughs> <laughs> to test her on um especially like during like uni times or whatnot the pride was high that's because you've grown up now isn't it you were 18 then high. but yeah man definitely um communication is key i think coming from a, a lady's or a woman's perspective don't be too picky and it's not everything you have to complain about and just be yourself don't be and don't try and be like these other girls out there just be i mean we're all different we're all unique like i have my pros and i have my cons just be be yourself you don't have to be a certain way to please a guy if a guy's not gonna accept you then bye all right Presh asks when are you guys getting married what <laughs> guys let's just have a moment of silence for Presh. <laughs> How would you describe each other's personalities in one word? That's from Queen Slay. Unique or vandalizing? I don't know, it's, it's weird. I didn't say weird. You're different. <laughs> <laughs> That's different still. I would say you mean bubbly. Bubbly. Bubbly, bubbly. She's like a light. Bubbly, bubbly, She's bubbly. definitely a light. Lightful. That's not a word, Tolly. Lightful is a word. If you don't put the D in front of the argue, Palumi. Someone has a question, Webster. My question is, who would win in a tense FIFA match? You or Yemi? Uh, I told you I don't play FIFA. I hate FIFA! <laughs> you guys, this, she always just does when I play FIFA. I hate FIFA. <laughs> I hate it. I hate it in fashion. <laughs> Man Link said, most embarrassing thing that's happened to both of you. Uh, <laughs> What's the most embarrassing thing that's happened to you? Okay, so I think there was a couple of, maybe a couple of years back or whatnot, me and Tully went to the O2 Arena. I can't remember what we went to go and do there, but um, we were running for the train and I was wearing like heels, like boot heels, and Tully was like, he was already gone in front of me, and he was at the bottom of the, what's it called, escalator? Mm -hmm. And I fell. <laughs> I thought I was like Tolu, Tolu, and he was like, "Oh, come on, man!" But he didn't see, he didn't see what had happened. But I yeah, actually so felt. Really telling me about that, yeah. I was yeah. thinking about it now. I could have broken my like my ankle. Yeah, but yeah, I felt embarrassing. <laughs> um, that's happened to me. Most embarrassing thing that happened to me. Probably just missing in public. That's dead. I do that on a normal day, mate. No, you know when you're laughing, yeah, and but you don't know. Oh, what it is. And then it's sort of trouble. As you're laughing, you just go e, and there's people about you. Oh, it's a problem. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so probably, probably that. And totally it's what stinks. When you first met, this is a question from Cindy. When you first <laughs> met, what were your first impressions of each other? I didn't like Tony's totally trainers. We had FIFA on. It's not FIFA, it's Fila. Fila. I don't disrespect my Fila, the, the black and green ones. Fila, I was just, I was thinking, you don't know how to dress. Still don't. Yeah, you still don't. <laughs> um, you, know, you know how to dress. But then I was thinking, this guy's kind of nice, but then I just thought, oh, whatever. My first impression was, she definitely thinks she's bad. That's because mum was a, mum was a bad man out here. Mum was bad. We were trying to be serious. Oh, no, but you know, I was bad at it. Can you stop banging the <laughs> What's been your favorite food since? What's been your favorite food since day? And what is or your most embarrassing moments together? Well, okay, we just covered yeah. that. Embarrassing. What's up? What's the favorite? What's your favorite food? My favorite food is oh yeah out on a plate. I love rice, love rice, love rice, plantain, chicken, and the coleslaw or salad. That's what I like. My favorite dish, my favorite dishes, um, plantain and beans. That's one. 
Pandadium and F4. Ah! To buff for me, Pandadium. Oh, that's enough, that's enough. <laughs> so, yeah, that's probably my. How many children do you both want? Whatever God provides us with. Amen. We will receive. Pray for four. Someone asked me a question How did I know Yemi was the one? Honestly, honestly, I just knew. When I first met her, I knew. When I first saw Shh. Wait, can I sing this song, please, please? When I first saw you, saw me, I said, hold my hand. That's my yummy. That's my honey. That's my honey. All right. <laughs> um, I just knew. We are growing <laughs> free. I've done, a, <laughs> I've done a fantastic job trying to be serious. As you can see, <laughs> this one can never be serious. Um, I just knew. As soon as I saw her, I knew. Moko, moko, money. Next question from Abdi. Abdi! Abdi said, What do you think makes a great relationship great? What do you think makes a great relationship great? I would say, being with your best friend. Oh, my best friend. My best friend. That's my best friend. That's my best friend. My best friend. I think definitely be your best friend. What about you? My best friend. Okay, that's your answer. <laughs> and secondly, before you met your best friend, your wife, did you both believe in marriage or did you both prefer committed relationships? Oh, I've always believed in marriage. I had a period where I didn't believe in marriages. Honestly. You didn't believe in marriages? No, I, I I didn't. I don't know. I just felt like... I remember there was a period with me and my cousins. It was like college. That's weird. Your parents are married. Is that, is, Anyways, is that what they asked you? Well, my parents are my role models, so... But the thing is, I just... You both... I believed in marriage. I just didn't know you how... You wasn't ready to get married. That's what you wanted. That's babes, what you babes, can I answer my question? Sorry. Yes, I believe in marriage. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, cool. Cad, this question is for Olayemi. What advice would you give someone who is a virgin in a relationship and is saving it for marriage? Well, that's that's a, what's the word? That it's I a want? deep one. It's a deep question, but with that sort of um, relationship, you need to basically. Um, discuss that with the person you're with and obviously tell them that you know you're waiting till marriage and if the person is not going to wait then you, you don't need to be with them find someone else that will respect your values hmm that's my baby hey guys this is from jenny what advice would you give to couples that go to uni or even different unis just anxious to know because you guys mentioned that you overcame arguments in uni lots of love god bless thank you jenny what advice would you give to people going for uni? I would say university during that period, depending on your age as well, um, that's a period where you've just left college and it's like, I want to have fun. Do you know what I'm saying? I want to have fun. I want to have a good time. I don't want anything to hold me back and whatnot. So for a lot of the guys, it's almost like... <clears throat> It's almost like they you have to be you have to be very patient because within their own brain it's like I just wanna have fun. Yeah, and if you're gonna hold me back and whatnot, then bun that and then you just see that you have loads and loads of arguments and whatnot. So I, I feel like the advice would be communication. I know I've said that I've said that word time and time again, but communication is very, very important. You need to sit down and discuss. Um, and I just feel like with growth and time, things will change and things will be better if you do have arguments and whatnot. To be honest, I feel like if you enter university with a relationship or if you're in a relationship, it makes you more serious. Um, like, for example, I'm going to use myself because I, I don't know about anybody else, but when I started university, obviously me and Tony were already going out, etc. And I did go out, but I didn't go out a lot. I was, I'm not one of them people to always go out anyways. I'll just stay in my room, I'll chill. I like the comfort of just my own place, kind of. I'd go out, but not all the time. And like everyone knew, like I had a man. I, I didn't, I wasn't behaving like a girl that was single, etc. 
like everyone knew that yeah i'm committed etc and it just makes you more focused that you've, you've got a boyfriend and you know sometimes just it kind of helps when you're in a relationship when you go as well because you you can both help each other like in regards to like studies or all that kind of stuff you just want to both stay focused and grounded and just yeah just communicate and whatnot just try and spend time together as well like sometimes me and Tolly will teach each other mostly on the weekends or go there on the weekends or but obviously facetime all them kind of stuff there wasn't around just just but try and spend time to each, spend time with each other and just communicate yeah very important because next thing you know some next man or some next girl will be whispering naughty things to your girlfriend or your boyfriend's ears so you just have to keep even though you guys are far away spend time together or keep in contact oh this is from queen mazzy i don't have a question queen. more i just want to tell you guys both to have a continuous happy life and i hope you keep prospering and in happiness and abundance and i think what you guys is doing is great and refreshing oh thank you thank you that's Queen so Mazzy. cute are you both born and born and how long have you both been in the uk the funny are thing we is both born yes <laughs> well we were both born in the same hospital yeah that's not <laughs> true hackney homerton e9 6hj templar wars yeah we're both born here um um, yeah. Yeah. So, but sometimes we behave a bit fresh because I, I, I obviously I went to Woodbridge. Yeah, so I, I didn't get sent back. I didn't get sent back. My yeah. mom was just fresh. She didn't get <laughs> sent back, but she still speaks fluent Yoruba. <laughs> My mom is fresh. So. What did you both study at uni? I studied pharmacology. I studied nursing. Then. <laughs> <laughs> then I studied film studies. Then. <laughs> I studied. Don't jealous me. <laughs> um. This person doesn't want uh, the he or she's name to be said. Um, what do you guys think about sex before marriage? Obviously, it's you're not supposed to if you're Christians, etc. But stuff happens. If you put yourself in that scenario, then it is what it is. Um, this person said they're trying to date a guy that wants sex, but they don't. If you don't want it, then don't date him. <laughs> it's not by force. Find someone else. He, like has to... he needs to understand that you. What, what's he gonna do? Force you? No. Just if he doesn't, if you don't want to have sex, just explain to him your reasons. And once again, if he doesn't respect your values, move on to someone else that will respect your values. It's not everybody that you have to have sex with. And plus, you have plenty of time to have sex when you get married. <laughs> oh yes. I hope you guys enjoyed all the questions. Um, thank you guys for tuning in. Oh. <laughs> One <laughs> I scratched myself. That's always we are so playful. <laughs> Deuces, dosses. Bye guys. Peace.